I want to talk. Let's talk having trouble coming up with ideas to paint or create whatever it is that you create. So recently I went on a trip and that trip lasted for a little more than a week. I came back home after that trip and I haven't done any type of creating since. I got kind of into other little hobbies such as reading. That took up a lot of my time. So I didn't really have enough time to put into painting because I was really into reading this book. I want to get back into painting, but for whatever reason, I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where to start. I painted this portrait of this elderly man sitting at a restaurant and I loved that style and I couldn't wait to get back to it. While I was painting that, I was thinking about, wow, I can create a huge painting. When I say huge, I'm probably talking more like 24 by 36 or 30 by 40 and kind of make like this huge scene where you see people walking and sitting and eating and things like that like that's the type of stuff that I want to paint right now I cannot wrap my head around for one how to find a reference and two where to get started my problem with finding a reference is that you have a picture in your head but you can't really find a reference for that on the internet like you know you can't find it on Pinterest you can't find it on Google you can't find any type of image like that I thought maybe I need to just start carrying my camera around everywhere and anytime I get inspiration just snap a quick photo or not even my camera, my phone. Like just snap a quick photo anytime I see something that inspires me even a little bit. Then from there, I can use those references to then put into a new painting. But while I'm thinking about all of these ideas that I want to put into a new painting, I'm realizing that I don't know if I'm ready to start a huge painting right now because I don't want to ruin a canvas if I'm not totally ready and inspired to paint. And recently I came across this ad that was this lady, she's kind of like maybe a teacher, an instructor, a professor. I'm not quite sure, a writer herself, I believe. And she is kind of coaching writers or aspiring authors on their journey. And she said something that kind of stuck with me. She says that she tells these people to work on smaller pieces so that they can feel the accomplishment of finishing. And I kind of put that into perspective and thought about my own artwork. Stop thinking about these huge paintings that you want to do and worry more about small paintings that you can finish right now, you know? So you can feel that accomplishment of finishing something and feeling like, okay, I got somewhere. Because if I start a big painting right now, I know I'm not going to finish it. So... I went out and I bought a few small canvases, okay? Four by four wrapped canvases that I plan on painting something on. I'm not quite sure yet, but we will figure it out. When I went to Michael's, they were buy one, get one free. So I was like, give me four. The other one is, <laughs> that looks funny. This week, I'm going to try to get some tiny paintings done and hopefully I can get somewhere. Okay, so fun story. I went to Hobby Lobby on a whim. I checked online first to see if they had their 40% off deal and they did. So I was like, okay. I get there, walk to my usual art supply aisle and guess what I see? I see a huge sale that I cannot pass up. Okay, listen, $1.24 for paint tubes? That's way better than the 40% off sale. So anyway, I was just like, I'm gonna have to go crazy here. This is like a once in a blue moon type thing. Let me go ahead. Let me just indulge. Let me get whatever it is that I want to get and get out of here before I end up with no money at all. So I ended up buying a bunch of paint and supplies that I'll probably need for the future anyway. I got like six tubes of paint, a few canvas panels, and a set of brushes. So that was nice. Okay, I just wanted to say removing yourself from your comfort zone is, it's important. When you do that, you're kind of forcing yourself to think a little bit harder and it kind of helps you to get better at whatever craft it is that you do. I finished the little 4x4 four four canvas piece, but this is it. My little grocery store. Isn't it cute? I don't know. I find it to be really kind of adorable. I don't know why. I've always like admired paintings like this where people would pack so much detail into a small space and I kind of want to get better at that. So like whenever I want to expand the scale, paint something a little bit bigger. I have some experience in getting a lot of detail into small spaces because listen, this is a four by four. Do you see how tiny that is? Like that's so small. I want to paint something that's almost like that big. I mean, if you're comparing, yeah, yeah, small. 
I want to paint something that's more like that big, but like it has this much detail in it, you know? And that I know is going to take me, is going to take me forever. And I don't want to feel overwhelmed. I might feel overwhelmed. Actually, that might be inevitable, but I want to feel like I can tackle it, you know? So that was kind of like step one. Get that little painting done and it's done. But anyway, I think this is it for this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you've made it this far, I would love if you subscribed. I don't want to be like that person, but like, listen, my other socials for my art accounts are in the description below. I would love if you check those out. Give me a little follow. Let me know what you think of this piece. And that's all for today. I'm done talking now. See you next time. Goodbye.